If you dream of lying at the beach and never working a day in your life again, you may be in for a rude awakening. The economist John Maynard Keynes made a startling prediction in 1930. Keynes figured that by the time his children had grown up, which is basically now, people might be working just 15 hours a week. People, of course, found that very appealing. Oh yes, and uh, that never happened. In 2021, many will tell you that if you're financially literate and do the right things, you only have to work 10 to 15 years, then retire and you don't have to work another day in your life. Now that is really attractive and for your and my sake, I hope, this will never happen. Today, that idea is called the FIRE movement and there are plenty of positives we can take from it. There's one reason though that could leave us unhappy, unfulfilled and even regretful. And if you haven't heard what the FIRE movement is, let me catch you up real quick. You are born, you learn a marketable skill like writing, programming or stealing peanuts from squirrels. You put a lot of work into this one skill, live as frugally as you dare so that you can save money. And that money you invest and eventually you can live off those investments. And if you keep your costs low and invest smart, you should be set within 10 to 15 years. Based on your current expenses, you take money out of your investments when you need it and you can live indefinitely. Oh, and of course, now you can do whatever you want. There are of course some great benefits that come with that movement, such as teaching people the importance of investing, promoting self-responsibility rather than relying on maybe corporate pension funds or social security, as well as the purpose that comes with 10 to 15 years of hard work. There is a problem though, and that problem starts at the other end of life. No, not that far, here. Did you know that there is actually no word for retirement in the Japanese language. And yet, at the same time, in Japan we find some of the oldest population in the world. And that's despite, and maybe I should say because, those people keep working, keep being active into their old age. The people I speak to, they don't want to retire. Our work is less physically demanding than ever before. And we also have an improved healthcare over the last 40 years that means we live longer as well. It's no surprise that we now want to fill our lives with things that truly matter to us. If you follow the FIRE movement, you want to think about money. You want to make money fast. Not necessarily with the thing that you find most fulfilling, but with the thing that gives you the highest returns in the short term. And that's fair enough. But don't forget that the thing that you do find fulfilling in the long term often gives you a higher reward. And also, if you really want to make an impact in the world, it needs a lot of time. It needs experimentation. And for that, you might as well start now. Now, where does that leave us? Take the advice of the FIRE movement and make it your own. Living within a budget greatly reduces stress in life. Knowing about investment makes you a lot more confident about the future. And being self-sufficient leads to a happier life. And now you ask yourself a really important question. And you can put the answer to that in the comment section below. If finances were not an issue, what would you do today? So the second thing that you can do is pursue what is meaningful and integrate it into your life. That skill that you find fulfilling, maybe it doesn't make that amount of money in the short term. And it may take more than 10 to 15 years to be financially free. So what? You love doing it and the last thing you want then is to lie 17 hours on the beach. And in 10 to 15 years, having spent all that time on honing in the skill, perfecting everything that you know, you will become an expert in that field. And that is so much more worth than just the numbers in your bank account, which can easily be eaten up by inflation or the next market crash. And if you think that it's too late now, watch this. This is Amy Crater. She is 94 years old. She gave up her dream of a university degree in 1962 to support her four children after getting divorced. 
At age 93, hard of hearing and wheelchair bound, she enrolls in a university and now becomes the oldest ever person to graduate from her university. She tells the story of trying to live my life to the fullest. But I feel that, that I'm still on the road. I, I have more to learn. So how old are you really? Now, I know that choosing a career wisely is a difficult task. And it takes a lot of courage to follow through with your plans, which is why I made the video right here. I will see you next time.